Hi YouTube, it's Janine. Get a light on here. I'm doing an update. Sorry, my voice sounds funny. It's really dry. Um, today is Friday afternoon, about six o'clock almost. I had my vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery on Wednesday morning around 11:30 or noon. Um, my doctor said everything went great. I didn't have any hyaluronic hernias gallstones, nothing to really to worry about with the liver, so that all went good. I guess it took about an hour, hour and 20 minutes to finish. And I woke up in the recovery room and there was a really nice nurse there that was helping me through everything. He said I was one of the uh, better recovery people that he had de dealt with any time recently. So that was good. And then went to a regular room, saw my family. Um, I was able to get down a couple spoonfuls of chicken broth and just little teeny tiny slurps of jello, sugar-free jello. I tried one of the protein things they had, but it almost made me throw up. It was awful. Um, and they let me out last night, probably around like five-ish, and it was a two-hour drive home, so I had to take um, hydrocodone, which was awful. I'm not taking that again. I did take it when I went to bed last night just because I couldn't, wouldn't have been able to sleep, but it's nasty and I have to chase it with water and I'm not really technically supposed to do that and it hurts and it's disgusting. I almost threw up. Um, what else? Let me see if I can show you my incision sites. With my lovely fat tummy. So, it's the top one. Not much pain there. On the other side there. This is the main one I think where they took out my actual stomach. It's about that wide. Pretty wide. Another one right here. That one doesn't bother me much either. And then this one, like when I sit down, it rolls. So it has kind of opened up a little bit. But they told me not to worry about it. Um, so yeah, scar, 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 scar. Got five all together. One, two, three, four, five. Um, didn't need a binder or anything to wear over them. Um, they sutured them from the inside and then put some sort of special medical glue over it. it should come off in a week to ten days, they said. Um, today I'm trying to walk. I just walked around my house maybe, I don't know, I don't know how many feet, but not even a quarter mile. I'll just say that much. It's not very far. I live in a complex where there's like five townhomes hooked together at a time, so I just ra walked around my little section of townhomes and came back. I did that twice today. Um, I tried to have a popsicle. I only got like half of it down, I think because it's so similar to the ice chips I was eating. And the ice chips gave me a lot of um, gurgling, like not gas, just bubbles in my stomach and was not pleasant. Um, so I only got half of one of those down. Um, I've been trying water. Water's not working with me very well either. Um, and I did call my surgeon because... He wasn't there when I was discharged, which I was kind of frustrated with. There was someone else there, but they gave me a whole different set of instructions, and I don't want to listen to anybody but my, but my surgeon. But he told me if I'm having a hard time getting things down, at least try to drink some Gatorade, which I have. It took me two, six, four hours to drink how much is gone. And this whole thing is 32 fluid ounces. So, I haven't had that much. I think I've had maybe 10 ounces um, of the Gatorade. I've been using these little cups. So, so the top one is a fluid ounce. So I've just been drinking one of these. Trying to do that every 10, maybe 15 minutes, but it's really hard. It's not so much that my stomach hurts. It's that I just don't, I don't know the stomach. I'm not familiar with it. I don't know what is going to happen to push it over and I'm trying very hard not to let myself do anything to make myself throw up since I have a new stomach and staples and stitches and I just I'm terrified to throw up with that stuff so I'm going to try this next 
it's water. It's the water I normally drink, and I put um, Mio flavored in it, so maybe it'll be like drinking the Gatorade, except it's just water. He suggested the Gatorade because if it goes down easy enough and I can drink it, I don't have to worry so much about, you know, my electrolytes, you know, falling in numbers and things like that, so probably just stick to the Gatorade today and maybe some water. Hopefully, um, tomorrow, sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable. Hopefully, by tomorrow, oh, it's a chore getting up and sitting down. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll be able to start drinking maybe at least one protein shake. I want to start getting that in. Um, the only medications I've been taking, I took regular Tylenol gel caps, which she said was fine. And I took, uh, let me get my list. Oh. I took a Ativan around 12.20, so in another hour I can take another one of those. Um, that's used for anxiety, which I get a lot of because I worry things to death. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but any little strange feeling, like I just freak out about it. I've been on the phone to the surgeon like three or four times today. Um, so I took Ativan, supposed to help with anxiety, pain, insomnia, cramping, etc. Um, that's my cat. Toby. He's got Mama, what happened to you? You're different. I also took Hyosiamine. Yeah, hyosamine, however you spell it. It's supposed to help relax the muscles of the esophagus and stomach. Um, usually happens in the first two weeks and right after, take this medication under your tongue and about 30 minutes later she, you should be able to drink better. So maybe that's why I'm able to get the Gatorade down. I think I did make a mistake. I think I swallowed that one and put the Ativan under my tongue. I got a little confused with the medications. Um, but they it'll still do the same thing. It just means it'll take longer to work. But oh, I don't know if you guys have any issues with this. But the whole time I was in the hospital, they had my legs wrapped up in those, you know, it squeezes and then it lets go, and that does the other leg and it squeezes and it lets go, just to prevent blood clots, you know, until, until you're able to start walking on your own and stuff. So I had those on till the very end when I left the hospital, and they were fine. They were comfortable. I didn't have any problems with them, but. I have a whole lot of calf pain now. Both of my calves, both the same areas. It's fine if I'm sitting down, I can even, you know, like lift my leg up. I don't know if you can see. Lift my leg up and stretch it and move my toe around. That doesn't hurt. But when I go to stand up or when I go to walk, once my foot rotates onto the heel or onto the ball of my foot, that's when I feel it. And it makes me feel like I'm going to fall over because it hurts. I think it's getting a little better, but hopefully that'll go away soon. Um, stomach pain. Right now it just kind of feels achy, like I did a whole lot of sit-ups. Um, none of the wounds hurt to the touch. You know, like I can touch them and it doesn't hurt. Um, it really mostly just feels like there's bubbles in there that need to get out, like gas, I don't know. And whenever I swallow something, no matter what it is, even like I said, the Gatorade, is, it, I have to kind of lean back and open myself up so that it'll allow it through. Otherwise, it kind of feels stuck. I don't know. My, when I was at the hospital, everything was perfect. I was drinking fine. I was walking perfect. They couldn't believe how quickly I had recovered. And it was awesome. And then the drive home was fine. Going to bed last night was fine. And I just woke up kind of a wreck. So I don't know what to do or what's happening. Um, I'm just still going to focus on the Gatorade, I guess. I don't want to end up in you know, the emergency room being dehydrated. That's my biggest issue right now. I want to stay hydrated. Um, so yeah, um, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> um, I'm in a recliner right now. <sighs> Put the feet up. They've just been, you know, sitting, watching a little TV. Sometimes I'm, I can put it back. Usually I have a pillow behind my head, but I can put it back comfortably and kind of leave my stomach area open, you know, for gas or whatever it is to go through. Uh, there is a little bit of pain when I get up or sit down or go to use the restroom just because you are using those stomach muscles. Um, oh, look. Looks like I'm wearing red lipstick. 
It's the popsicle I tried earlier. <laughs> um, also, I don't know if you guys get this. This might be kind of gross, but see. Let's see if I can do this. See the white things? White dots. I've got those on the outside and the inside of my mouth. Just around, and it's kind of puffy right here. And what we think happened was we think when they had the tubes down my throat, maybe it was pulling too much in one way or something. I don't know. It doesn't bother me. I'm just kind of waiting for the swelling to go down and for those white spots to go away. Um, I'm at my 10 minute mark, so I'm going to try to upload this and then I'll make another one. Bye, guys.